Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will solve one very interesting problem based on operational amplifier. Here, I will be going to design circuit based on equation given to you. So here, our agenda is to design circuit from equation using operational amplifier. If you read the question, then here we need to design circuit for equation V0 is equals to 2V1 minus 3V2. Here we can use one operational amplifier and we need to use least number of resistors. So if you carefully observe output V0, so that is depending on inputs V1 and V2. If you observe V1, so that is having positive voltage and if you observe V2, so that is having negative voltage. So here positive and negative both input that we need to use along with operational amplifier. As we need to have positive and negative input, here we will be using operational amplifier with differential configuration. If you have seen my last video, in that I have explained subtractor using operational amplifier with differential configuration. If you have seen that video, in that you see I have performed output that is subtraction of input. So here my output was based on VA minus VB into gain A. But here if you choose values of resistors with different values, then one can have your output as per 2V1 minus 3V2. Let me explain you how. So here what I'll do is I'll be using same circuit you see. So same circuit that I'm going to use here we have input V1 that is connected with positive terminal. You can observe V1 should be having positive voltage and this V2 that is connected with negative terminal. So V2 should be having negative voltage. Now here first of all you need to understand what is output. So here if you observe output then here output V0 with respect to V1 will be how much. So this V1 that is inserting some potential here. Let us say that is V dash. So what is that V dash? V dash will be V1 into this resistance R3 divided by addition of these two resistance that is R2 plus R3. That is happening as per voltage divider rule. Now here as if voltage is V dash, then what is the gain with respect to this voltage? This is non inverting voltage and gain of non inverting voltage is how much it is 1 plus rf by r1 so that is a voltage which is happening because of v1 now what is the voltage which is happening because of v2 so that is given to negative terminal so here minus v2 that i need to write and here gain is rf by r1 with inverting configuration gain is minus rf by r1 right so minus that I have took outside. So that is the basic equation which we have. Now what we need to do is we need to compare this equation with this V0 equation. So let me write that equation over here. So here let us say this is equation A and let us say this is equation B. So if you compare A and B then you can observe here you see with V2 coefficient is minus 3 and here with V2 coefficient is minus RF by R1. So based on that one can say RF by R1 value RF by R1 value that is how much that is 3 over here right. V2 is having coefficient minus RF by R1 here it is minus 3. So RF by R1 that is 3 over here. Now if you observe this coefficient so that is 2 which is there with V1. So this 2 that is R3 by R2 plus R3 into 1 plus RF by R1. So if you compare that then you will be having R3 by R2 plus R3 into 1 plus RF by R1. So that is equals to 2. Right. Now just simplify this. So if you observe see RF by R1 that is 3. So just substitute that. So R3 divided by R2 plus R3 into 1 plus RF by R1 that is 3 that is equals to 2. So this 1 plus 3 that is 4 
that is getting cancelled over here. So this will be 1 and here we will be having 2. If you further simplify this, then this 2 into R3 that is equals to this, this will go on other side. So that is R2 plus R3. So you will be having R3 that is equals to R2. Right. So we have another equation based on comparative values of R2, R3. So here now we just need to assume few values. Let us assume values. If I assume, if I assume R3 is equals to R2 is equals to 1 kilo ohm, then R3 and R2 that will be of 1 kilo ohm. Now if I assume R1 is equals to 1 kilo ohm, then you see based on this equation, RF will be how much? 1 into 3 means RF is equals to 3 kilo ohm. So now we have values of these resistors, right? And these values that we can use it in this circuit that will be performing this equation, right? So let me, let me show it to you. See, here we have this circuit and with this circuit, this R2 and R3 that is of 1 kilo ohm, right? That is of 1 kilo ohm. This R1 that is also of 1 kilo ohm and this RF that is of 3 kilo ohm. So based on this circuit, you can say your output will be how much? That will be, that will be this 2V1 minus 3V2, right? So your output over here, that will be 2V1 minus 3V2. So here we are using four resistors and one operational amplifier. You can say here we are using same circuit which was there with subtractor but in that we were been having some other conditions. You see we have selected RF is equals to R3 and R1 is equals to R2 based on that we were we were been having subtractor. But here as per the equation values of R2 and R3 that is 1k or you can say both are equal and R1 and RF that is related as per RF is equals to 3 R1. So you can select any value, right? This, this is major thing. Here I am assuming R2 is equals to R3 is equals to 1 kilo ohm and R1 is equals to 1 kilo ohm. In some books, they may be selecting some other values, but this relation that should be getting maintained to have this output. I hope now you are getting how exactly we can perform circuit from equation given to you. Here, here we need to have differential configuration but sometimes they may give you some other task given. So in that you should be knowing what type of output that we should be having. Like if you observe here, see here we have differential output. Sometimes they may give you only positive addition of output. Sometimes they may give you only negative addition of output. At that time you need to understand different configuration. For positive output, you need to use non-inverting configuration. For negative output, you need to use inverting configuration. I hope you have understood this. Still, if anything that you would like to share, please note it down in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.